What's up, everyone? Tommy Marquez here inside the Update Studio, catching up with Travis Mayer. He is the 10th fittest man on the planet in 2016. He's going back to the games in 2017 after finishing in fourth place at the 2017 Atlantic Regional. And he joins me now via Skype. Travis, what's up, man? Thanks for joining me today. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me on. So uh, taking a quick look back at regionals, going to that final event, you're in kind of a do or die scenario there, kind of trying to make it, in, it into the top five. Talk me through your mental prep in a situation like this and what was going through your head at each station of that workout. Yeah, I mean, going into that final workout, I knew it was kind of, you have to lay it all out there. And as soon as I finished event five, I knew I kind of dug myself a little bit of a hole, uh, a little bit dig bigger than I wanted. So once I saw the scoreboard and I saw it was about 26 or seven points out, um, there was a quick little thought of, oh, I don't know if you can do this. And I was like, no, get that out of your head. I was like, go out there, win, and who knows what's going to happen on this final one. So my coach actually came up to me and we started, he kind of took a little couple jabs to kind of fire me up and make me angry because um, I knew that's what I needed for the final event. And I put my headphones on, just sat there and kind of got fired up and brought out what they call Tra Trevor, they say that's my alter ego down here, and that's the guy that shows up and performs. So that's kind of what I had to bring out for the final one. Uh, so it came out, and I did pretty well, to say the least, on that final workout. Oh, man, I love the alter ego, Trevor. <laughs> Trevor won that last event and got you to the I games. Know. That's pretty awesome. But looking at your career as a whole, regionals has been more of a battle for you, where it seems like you seem to excel a little bit better on the game stage. Why do you think that is? Yeah, I think sometimes just a few little in the years past, it's been something mentally that probably stopped me. But I think this year, we it just kind of, with all the ring dips and single arm dumbbell stuff, I think it kind of exposed a weakness that I had that I didn't think was an issue. Because um, muscle ups have never been a big issue leading into training or anything like that. But then when we tested this workout combined with the dumbbell overhead squats for some reason it just fatigued my triceps more than we kind of hoped for and had to rely on my pecs and as most people know my pecs aren't huge so i don't use those very often <laughs> um, so just kind of uh something i think it kind of helped us now uh going forward into the game just kind of help a little bit more with preparation for that but i think each year's kind of been something new and something i've kind of learned at regionals and i think the games helps me more just due to it's more random uh, just random training. You don't get a lot of time prepare, and I think I do better in that kind of scenario. People who saw the behind the scenes last year maybe got a little bit of taste of it, but this catchphrase, Travis Who, that you guys are kind of perpetuating, even put on your game sh shirt this year. Tell me a little bit about, about how that developed and wh what does that catchphrase mean to you? Uh, I think it's kind of just to me meaning no matter what happens, kind of go out there and show people what you're made of. Um, I think in the years past, I've kind of, as you guys say it, I'm kind of the silent ninja or kind of silent assassin and always creeping in. And then people are like, well, you've been in the top 10 all week. So what's really happening? I'm like, well, who knows? It's just Travis who they don't know. Uh, so someone kind of made a reference about it and we made a joke out of it. And it turned out that it was printed on our regional shirts, actually. And then we decided to keep it going. And now we're going to put them on the game shirts. Um, but I think it's just kind of a staple for me to kind of make a statement on who I am and make sure that everybody knows this year who Travis is. Without a doubt. I, and I will firsthand say that you are one of the most underrated CrossFitters on the planet. I will definitely <laughs> buy into that for sure. But one last thing. So you cracked the top 10. What's the next, next big kind of uh, benchmark for you placement-wise at the games? Uh, placement, I would love to podium. That's kind of the game plan this year, and that's where all eyes are focused and going forward. Uh, I think for me, going into each workout and – if I can execute the way I know how in training, I know it can set me up pretty well for being on top of the podium, especially with usually how the games is laid out. So it kind of excited to see what Madison's going to bring and a different environment and element for everybody. So a little bit of the unknown and unknowable aspect. Right on. Well, thanks again, Travis, for taking the time to catch up with us and uh, best of luck, man. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me on. Travis Mayer making his fourth trip to the CrossFit Games. Another top 10 finish or even a podium finish, and he might have to get a new catchphrase. The games kick off in about a month, and you can catch all the action, as well as our continued coverage leading up to the games at games.crossfit.com.